Tracy Jones here and we are going to cover some of the basics of the Bridgeport uh, Series 1 vertical milling machine. We will start with the head. The head contains the motor drive unit for the spindle. In the front you have your speed indicator for the spindle itself. These machines are variable speed and have two different speed ranges. You have a high range and a low range. If you look inside the window, you see a speed call out here. That is if it, the machine were in high range and if the machine were in low range. The high and low range lever that sets it in the actual high or low range is here on the side. You have currently it is in low range. You have high range here. You have your speed dial that dials in your RPM. You have your quill lock right here. The quill runs through the head. The spindle is what rotates. This is your spindle right here. This is your quill lock. This is your quill hand control right here. This will be used for drilling. You notice the quill now comes out. The quill does not rotate, but the spindle does. For your drilling operations, it is set up so that it can raise and lower with the handle. But for milling operations, you want it all the way up. And you notice you have a mill, you have a stop here for the quill that you can adjust for depth of depth drilling. But for milling, you want the quill all the way up and locked. Gives it more support and more strength. You have your handbrake right here for the spindle. You have your power switch that turns the actual motor off and on. And you have your drawbar right here. Your drawbar is threaded on the end and is what actually threads the tooling into the spindle itself. Now, for basic operations, we're going to set some RPMs and make some adjustments. With the control in the low range, if we turn the switch downwards, it will turn the spindle on in the low range. Right now it's set at approximately 120 RPMs and it'll rotate in a clockwise direction. So we turn the switch down, motor starts, and we have a forward rotation. Turn it off, we just simply come back to center. To adjust the speed, the motor must be running. So if we are at 120 now, and let's say we need 300 RPMs, we turn our spindle on, and we adjust our speed dial by turning the hand wheel and you'll notice the speed changes. Three hundred RPM. We needed it to go down, we simply bring it back down. There's 200 RPMs right there. We'll turn our spindle off. Okay. Now, if we need it in the high range, the low range runs from 60 RPMs to 500 RPMs, and the high range goes from 500 and up. So if we needed to run a faster RPM than 500, we would have to set our RPMs, our gear, into the high range. To do that, we would come over here, we would take the handle, push it in, now it is spring loaded so we'll try to come forward on its own, so carefully hold on to it, let it come forward. At this point it is not yet in gear, okay, to make sure it is in gear we're going to take hold of the spindle and turn it by hand until the lever goes up, just like this. 
now it's in the high range. So now that we are in the high range, we will turn our switch upwards. And we are running approximately 1800 RPMs and we can adjust it from there. Okay. That is how you adjust the speed and gear on the Bridgeport Series 1 milling machine. Remember we have the draw bar on top, our power switch, our spindle brake, our spindle speed indicator, our spindle speed hand wheel, our speed range high-low lever, we have our spindle, we have our quill, we have our quill lock, we have our quill hand feed, and we have our quill stop. That's how to power up the head of the Bridgeport Series 1 milling machine.